Hey developers, today we are going to take a look at programming YouTube channels. We're going to look at over 100 of them, actually close to 150 YouTube channels. And we're going to talk about every single one of them. Okay, no, we're not going to talk about every single one of them. But I am going to show you a cool new resource that I created that actually I could use your guys' help on. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also the author of a few books. If you're interested in those, I'll have a link in the description. But today we are talking about YouTube channels like the one you're listening to right now. So uh, I really love YouTube. I really like all the different YouTube channels out there. And so I've seen a lot of different resources on people ranking and listing different YouTube channels. I've done a few videos like this myself. So, I mean, first I wanna give a shout out to Brad Traversy. If you don't know, Traversy Media is just an amazing YouTube channel, has really awesome, crazy amounts of great tutorials. He actually shouted me out in one of his last videos in October um, on his 20 developer YouTube channels to follow. So I just, I got inspired by Brad because he makes so much great content. There's also some really good Dev.2 uh, articles out there. If you don't know, Dev.2 is this website where people can post their own blogs. It's really developer centric as the name suggests dev and you know of course they mentioned their top channels like traversy media web dev simplify programming with mosh crash course computer science so i thought what i'd do today in this video is show you some of my favorite youtube channels but also a resource that we're going to be using so i kind of look through a lot of these different lists i there's i only showing you two right now but there is probably five, 10, a dozen different YouTube videos of YouTube creators creating their best developer channel lists. There's at least three or four YouTube programming lists on Dev.2, like 10 YouTube channels to follow, 27 YouTube channels to follow, my top YouTube channels to follow. Um, so there's a lot of different lists on this. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if we can put all these lists in one place? In other words, let's try to curate a list of different YouTube development channels. And that is what I've done. So if you don't know, uh, I really like GitHub. I think it's a great place to collect information. So what I've done is I created a new repository called Dev YouTube List, and I'm calling it the amazing developers of YouTube. And so what I've done is I have kind of, uh, I've added all these different YouTube channels and I've put them into different categories. So there was also a free code camp video recently where they talked about YouTube. So they came up with a couple different categories. I kind of changed a little bit. So uh, I'm going to put this link in the description below and uh, you can just click on it and take a look at it. And also what's nice thing it's on GitHub is that I could use your guys' help on this too. So we'll get to that in a moment, but let me show you the list. So I took, I know all these different 20 plus developer YouTube channels you should know, a bunch of Dev.2 articles, a few other places, and I collected them up into uh, one resources on this on this GitHub README file here. And then I broke them up between tutorial channels, which I consider, like my channel, I consider a tutorial channel because I focus mostly on view tutorials, web development tutorials, and then I do occasionally some career advice or videos like this, but I, I'm really trying to focus on tutorials. And then uh, there's informational channels, which are more in the line of giving developer advice. Um, and I'll show you a few examples of those. Live coding channels where they actually code live and then they're uploading the videos to YouTube. Usually these people are on Twitch or Mixer or some other live streaming platform and they're also uploading the videos to YouTube. And then software entertainment, these channels are more, they're kind of really big, but they, you, these are the ones that you're gonna see day in the life of videos. But when you click on the channels, they're a lot different. They're a lot more broader. They're just not developer focused. And then uh, I kind of wanted to keep, I didn't want to put a lot, there's a lot of little channels. So for example, up and upcoming, these channels have less than a thousand subscribers or less than 10,000 views a month, but I wanted to include them in their own special area instead of including them elsewhere in here because there is a lot of these channels. I was only able to find maybe, I don't know, 15 of them, but I know if if you guys look, there's a ton more. 
And I just want to put them in their own area. And then if they get it big enough, they can graduate to other areas. And then retire channels, which these are still coming up in search, but people aren't, uh, they just haven't been uploaded to anything in the last six months. Some of them have been over a year or even two years in some cases, but I think they're worth mentioning like Aaron and Beta. So let's take a look at our tutorials. So of course I put my, my channel program with Eric at the top here and free code camp because I really enjoy their videos programming with Mosh. And by the way, what I did is some of these programming channels could be put into multiple areas. For example, my channel program with Eric, I consider myself more of a tutorial channel, but I also do like the occasional information and give career advice, but I don't want some of these channels to be in multiple places. So I'm making a judgment call here and seeing what the majority of their videos are. For example, program with Eric, majority would be tutorial. So I put in the tutorial one. So I'm going to actually highlight a few kind of uh, diamonds in the rough you may not have heard of. Um, so these are all definitely mostly majority tutorials. That means they usually are doing screen sharing and they're kind of walking through a project. Sometimes they're called code alongs too. So, uh, you know, a few that I really like, you know, we mentioned uh, Traversy Media, of course. And, but, you know, one other ones that I particularly like is Paul Halliday. So if you look at his channel and I'm um, hopefully it's not loud. If you look at his channel, he put, puts out a lot of stuff on like Flutter, Pigeon. Um, he does a lot of stuff in Angular, which he used to do more of. But I, I just, you know, I, so, you know, it's a nice channel. He really explains topics really well. So that's one I would recommend. Jason Weinman, he's actually a, a good friend of mine. He does gaming, Unity 3D tutorials, and his channel has just been blowing up lately. And he's doing some more kind of just talking in front of the camera recently, but he has mostly just tutorials. He did that for months and months. Uh, I really like his channel, highly recommend it. By the way, most of these are web development focused on this list here, but that's certainly not all of them. Like like I said, Jason's is gaming, uh, but and also back to back SWE is more like uh, getting you prepared for a software interview. There is all sorts here. So one thing that I love to do is, is to have someone push up a pull request that breaks these tutorials down into different sections. And actually I created an issues. So if you want to contribute, so I'll jump into that. If you want to contribute to this list, I added a few issues. I'm going to probably add some more. One is to add categories and one is to add categories for non-English YouTube channels. So if you're interested in this, you know, clone this to your own repository, create some pull requests, push them up and, uh, you know, let me know some changes. Also, I have a, around, uh, I think it's around 150, 130 to 150 YouTube channels here, but I know I'm missing quite a few because every day there's a new YouTube, YouTube channel coming up every day. There's just some, some niche channel I haven't heard of that that's coming up. So I'd love to have you guys who are listening and watching right now to push up a pull request with some channels that I missed or some ones that you really like that aren't on this list. And just be aware, make sure you put them in the right category. And if they're already in a category, you know, we don't want any duplicates. So we don't definitely don't want any duplicates there. So yeah, a few other ones, of course, Wes Boss, he doesn't really upload too much, but his, when he does, his videos are, are pretty high quality. Andrew Matarang, he actually does some really great view videos. I like that. Fireship, this guy's production values is so high. He usually focuses mostly on Angular. It used to be called Angular Fireship, but he's kind of moved on and broadened it to just basic JavaScript. Like how do you do array maps, array reduce, the future of JavaScript. I mean, I'm always jealous uh, of, of the quality of these videos that he puts out because he just uses tons of different graphics and you could tell he's really good at Adobe After Effects and things like that when he produces these videos. Um, Tech with Tim, I just found his channel just the other day, which I, I think is really neat. So uh, he does like, he does programming interviews. He did JavaScript tutorials, but he did a ton of Python and machine learning stuff for a while. And so, yeah, definitely a channel I would recommend. And if, of course, if you're interested in any of these channels, make sure you click on the link, go to the GitHub repository, star it, share it with your friends, send up pull requests. 
so yeah, uh, Ben Awad, he's really great at Node. Um, I really like his channel. I just found Chris Coyer's channel. I've was I'm a big fan of CSS Tricks, his blog, and he's done a ton of things. I didn't even know he had a blue uh, a YouTube channel. So it's kind of neat to see some of his his videos and tutorials. Yeah, so that that's uh, that's really cool. So now informational, and by the way, there is. I would say there's probably some companies that have multiple YouTube channels. I didn't add them all here. Like Google has, I think they have like five or 10 YouTube channels just focused on different parts of development. I only added a couple of them in here. Uh, if you guys really think I need to add more of them, I will. But I like to focus this list a lot on actual YouTube developers and not companies. Or if it is a company, at least there's one single person behind it. So informational channels, of course, my buddy Dylan Israel used to be formerly known as Cordy Tools 360. Great information, but you know, Force Knight does a great, great, uh, a great job too. Uh, Joshua Fluke, I think, is one of my favorite informational channels. I watch him a lot. Uh, Krishan, back in the day, um, you know, Mayuka, she's, she's, I actually did a podcast with her just uh, last month, and you know, she's still, still killing it. And she does really great advice for developers. Uh, Andy Sturkowitz. You know, I've, I've listened to, watched him a few times. Codrip, uh, another, this is another thing. If we can break some of these down, some of these information channels give a lot of, are, are more focused on like getting you a job. So they actually almost are like tutorial channels. I think I, uh, Clement, yep, Clement's here. So he is, does mostly information type videos, but he owns AlgoPro, which by the way, there's a link in the description below if you're interested. If you want to sign up to get, Algor algorithm, um, how to get uh, algorithm interview question prep w website, Algo Expert. So yeah, so really cool YouTube channel. He's just been blowing up too lately. Ex Google, ex Facebook, Happy Cat, uh, Team Treehouse. That's one company I left on here, but I just really like Team Treehouse, so I I put them on here. Live coding. I couldn't find too many live coding. And I know some people do a little bit of live coding, but it's mostly not. But usually Coding Garden with CJ, the Coding Train, Bisquit, Let's Build That App. Let's Build That App was really hard because some of his stuff is coding, uh, live coding, and some of it isn't. But I thought maybe it's a little bit more live coding. Also, I think I have in here Fun Fun Function. Yeah, Fun Fun Function I put under Informational. If you look, if you don't know Fun Fun Function, it's definitely a channel that's been around a lot. And he's uh, a pretty cool character on YouTube, but he it feels like he's doing a lot more informational type videos and less tutorials lately. Uh, so I decided to put him on the informational side, but that was a tough one to figure out like, is he more informational or not? Let's see here. So software entertainment, these are more just, just crazy. Like usually these are larger channels like Michael Reeves. Uh, he, it makes really funny videos. He has tech kind of intertwined in it. A lot of these people do day in the life of videos. <laughs> Literally, I searched on YouTube for day in the life of, and I found a handful of channels. And a lot of them were just, they did one or two channels, uh, one or two videos on some tech, like this tech lifestyle travel, but most of, of like this guy, Gaiasi, um, is more about uh, tech. Like he's a new MacBook Pro, but he also has the truth about major in computer science. I noticed too, a lot of these lifestyle channels are uh, college students that would be a cool category if we could find all the college students that have develop who are developers that have channels because i think that's a pretty big deal i think a lot of people like watching those uh, socratica so up and coming so what i did here is there is some really cool channels that kind of ha are a little smaller less than a thousand subscribers less than ten thousand views a month or either one doesn't have to be both and i just wanted to highlight these people because they're putting a lot of effort in and and Discovery on YouTube is hard. So uh, Faraday Academy, really neat channel that I'm, I'm, uh, I've am I'm learned a little bit. Another fellow Vue.js developer that is doing Vue, uh, Vue uh, excuse me, doing Vue tutorials. And I think she even has, has her own courses. So I would uh, recommend checking that out. Ricky Garcia, uh, another good developer I like. I don't really know too many of these new to these new up and coming developers. Someone mentioned Frederick Christensen to me a few times cause he's literally in a bathtub. 
let's see. Yeah, he's like literally in a bathtub giving device for developers. And I think that's pretty unique and interesting. So I, I think that's well worth having on, on this list here. Cool. And then this retired category is just developers that used to be uh, big channels like New Boston, still huge, but he hasn't uploaded in years. And that I think still show up in, in search and but they just haven't uploaded in a long time. So like Michael Thomas, he actually interviewed me like month years ago and uh, Bootstrap Studio and then some some people here. All right, well, that's all I have to say about the resources. So if you're watching and listening all the way to this end here, thank you for doing that. Make sure if you're interested in this list, click that star button, open up uh, a pull request. You know, let, let's try to keep this going. I'm gonna try to revisit it every few months to try to update it, but I could really use some help from the community to keep this list of amazing developers on YouTube up and running. And, and uh, you know, I'll try to send this out to some of my social media as well. All right. Thanks guys for listening, watching. I appreciate it. Thanks.